Join director Doug as he spans the globe by sea, by land, and air to bring you the best of Figures in Action! What is your name and, and what have you been doing lately? My name is John Mahan and actually the last few years I've been writing a book that's just been published on Amazon. Can you show us that book and tell us about it? Hold it up for us. It's called The Life of Make Believe from Paralysis to Hollywood. When I was 12 years old I had polio and I was totally paralyzed and everything came back except the left arm. And everything I did for 40 years I, in television, the jobs, I always played military guys or cops. I couldn't do in real life. So I lived in an imaginative reality. I, I, I didn't want to be an actor. It's like I had to be an actor. Well, you've done some incredible things. Now, you knew James Garner, you said. Jim Garner and I were friends. He was the best of the best. Uh, he used to put me in, the, he'd say, Johnny, Johnny, come here. And he'd put me on the floor of his car out of the shot. Then he'd do all these whirlies to scare the, the heck out of me, you know. There was nobody better than Jim Garner. Well, that's a really wonderful tradition, a lot of those things in Hollywood and the tabloids. We don't know there's really super people out there and just dedicated and they give so much. What are some of the shows that you're particularly proud and happy that you got to be a part of? Well, I think I'm most proud of L.A. Confidential, but I've done uh, a lot of plays in New York and... Uh, I was in the original Exorcist, 1972. The Couch Trip with Dan Aykroyd and uh, Walter Matthau. I did a Broadway play with Al Pacino, Richard III. He's probably one of the best actors pound for pound I ever worked with. An amazing actor. And the late John Cassell, who played his brother in all the Godfather movies. I worked with Sidney Poitier and uh, little Nikita. We did a six-page scene. I walked down a soundstage at 6.30 in the morning, and who's standing there but Sidney Poitier. When we started to shoot, it got so we got in a really heated argument. We didn't like each other. And I'm, we're yelling, and I had to stop. I said, wait a minute, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, and I'm yelling at Sidney Poitier. So we sat down and what I call created an imaginative reality, a backstory of how we got in the FBI together, you know? It took less than two minutes. Then we were up on our feet and it all worked. Well, you know, those behind the scenes, you, you really can't appreciate what's going on, but we appreciate you telling us that, and thank you for making the trip over here. 